everybody! Happy Halloween! Today I will be doing things a little bit different. For this special day, I will do my very own top 13 list. Why 13? Well, because it's Halloween! Yes, a top 13 list of two of my favorite things. Creepy little things. And The Legend of Zelda! So for your enjoyment, here is my top 13 creepy Legend of Zelda characters or locations. Beware, this episode contains spoilers for several Zelda games. Number 13. Dying Soldier of Ocarina of Time. For me, I think this was the moment that the game got pretty serious. It was all like, hey, there is a dead person to creep you out here. Although not the most important thing and easily miss, this really creeped me out when I was little and when I first played this game. So, a well deserved number 13 spot. Number 12. The Light Life from several Zelda games. Hey look, it's a Rippy! Nope, it's a Light Life. And let me tell you, I really don't like this guy. They steal clothes and shields when they try to eat you. That's disgusting. When I first encountered this wonderful creature, I actually screamed. So, in a well-deserved number 12 spot, the light work, everybody, I'm here to eat you. Number 11. The Toilet Hand. Well, appearing in three games in the Zelda series, namely Majora's Mask, Oracle of Ages, and Skyward Sword, the Toilet Hand cannot help but creep me out. Picture this. You are home alone, and you hear noise coming from the toilet. You look... And see a hand wanting some paper. I would seriously scream my head off of this. Now, I decided on the one from Skyward Sword, because not only is this creepy, but this hand is actually from a young girl named Feeny. Or Phony. I have no idea how you pronounce that name, but that's okay. And if you decide on certain actions, she actually develops a crush on someone. Ugh, that's pretty terrifying. So, in a well-deserved number 11 spot, the toilet hand. From Skyward Sword. Number 10. The Trope from Skyward Sword. <laughs> so yeah, what's there to say about this guy? Actually, one of the reasons he creeps me out is because he plays a scream as loud as you can game with a little girl. Need I really say more? Plus, this human form still creeps me out. <laughs> On a well-deserved number 10 spot, Petro, everybody. Number 9. The Earth Temple from The Wind Waker. Well, this entire temple has one damn creepy atmosphere. From the music, or lack thereof, to the skulls on the walls, and of course the enemies. From zombies to hands that appear out of nowhere to try to grab you or medley. The use of light adds to the creep factor, because the lack of light is actually your enemy in this game. So with this wonderful creepy atmosphere and various enemies, the Earth Temple is the number 9 spot. The Cubist Sisters from Phantom Hourglass. Yes, I have actually played every Zelda game, including the ones on handhelds. So Phantom Hourglass is one of my favorite games on handheld because, well, it's just pretty darn good. 
But saving cute little girls in a dungeon and then having them stab you in the back by not being such cute little girls is kind of annoying. But they also kind of creep me out. I mean, look at that smile. Ugh. So, on a well-deserved number 8 spot, the Cubist sisters, everyone, for creeping me out. Number 7. Majora's Mask from, well, Majora's Mask. Yes, a mask as the main villain. Oh, I have so many things to say about this mask, I could go on forever. I even made a very cool painting of it. Well, unsure of the origins of the mask, this is one of the creepiest things I know of. But because this being a bit of a list of things that creeped me out the first time I played them, it's pretty low on the list. Let me explain this to you. When I first played Majora's Mask, other things creep me up more than the mask itself. I mean, sure, it's creepy, but it gets only creepier when you think about where it came from. And when I was little, well, I didn't think too much about that. So, there you go. The mask has immense powers and slowly takes over the host. This alone is creepy enough, but it actually doesn't need a host to be functional. Yeah. Creepy as hell, Majora's Mask from Majora's Mask on the number 7 spot. Number 6. Garahim from Skyward Sword. He is so fabulous, but also very creepy. I mean, the way he just carries himself and talks, you know, and is this makes this guy just give me the chills. I mean, he's just so <laughs> damn creepy. Just don't get me wrong. I love this character for his appearance and behavior, but he's just creepy. I mean, look at that tongue. Blech. Poor Link. Well, for me, on a very well-deserved number six spot, Garahim from Skyward Sword. Number 5. You know what also creeped me out in Skyward Sword? The Guardians. Yes. Next to Garahem, the Guardians of the Silent Realm make my heart pump and my breathing heavy. Since beyond good and evil, I have not been so scared to just walk around. I mean, I just wanted to stay inside my safe circle and not walk out of it anyway. And I know some of you feel the same way. Oh, for me, on a very well-deserved number 5 spot, the Guardians from Skyward Sword. Scaring people everywhere. Number 4. Pose from several Zelda games. You know, I really like to meet a person that isn't afraid of ghosts, or at least creeped out by them. Appearing in almost every Zelda game, even in several bosses, the Poe really made a name for himself. In Twilight Princess, they even serve as a collect quest. Now, you might think they were named after Edgar Allan Poe, but let me tell you, the name actually origins from the name Poe, with P-O, which is actually a Chinese word for spirit. Very interesting. So yeah, Poe's creeped me up. And of course, my very first encounter with these Poe's was in the Forest Temple of Ocarina of Time, which also had a creepy atmosphere all by itself. So there you go, and the number four spot goes to Poe. From several Legend of Zelda games. Number 3. All of Link's transformations in Majora's Mask. You know what? Just watch these clips. <laughs> yes. This is definitely something I was happy to fast forward when I was little. These masks own the souls of the deceased, and apparently, that hurts when you try to put them on and channel them. But, on the other hand, it's kinda handy though. But this? Ugh, seriously creeps me out. So, on number 3, Link's transformations from Majora's Mask. Giving kids nightmares everywhere. I'm looking at you, Zora Link.
number two. The bottom of the well from Ocarina of Time. Being a mini dungeon, this thing creeped me out and definitely kept me out of the cellar for years. All ages, my ass, Nintendo. Invisible enemies, invisible walls, invisible floors, and then the dead hands. Yes, this thing was not meant for all ages, and neither was this dungeon. I was freaked out by everything for like three days. No, seriously. But on a well-deserved spot, the bottom of the well is one of the things that many people of my age still have nightmares from. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you. Now, before we uh, reveal our number one spots, Let's have some honorable mentions. You know, the things that I actually thought of putting on this list before I decided other things creep me out more. Now remember, this is all opinion based, so no whining. Oka from Twilight Princess. The trade sequence characters from Ocarina of Time. The Moon from Majora's Mask. Zant from Twilight Princess. Kana Canyon from Majora's Mask. The Forest Temple from Ocarina of Time. And now it's time to go to the number one spot. And the number one for this list is... The Happy Mask Salesman from Majora's Mask. Is this really a surprise to you? I mean, this guy is creep factor all over. I mean, he carries around masks, and that's creepy enough. But he also has the Majora's Mask and desperately wants it back with... well, not really a purpose for it. At least he doesn't explain it to us. But not only does he have that, he also has the Song of Healing. A song that heals troubled spirits and then turns them into masks. Now that's pretty creepy on its own. But, if you look closely, he also has a Mario mask on his back. I wonder what he did to Mario. On a well-deserved number one spot, the Happy Mask Salesman. Nobody knows where he came from, and nobody knows where he went. So that's it for my top 13 list. I hope you guys enjoy. If for some reason you disagree with my opinion, please comment below, give a like if you do agree, give a like if you don't agree, but have fun anyway watching this, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Ha, 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 ha.